Going down, baby. Been a long time, but I'm back, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and thank you all for tuning in. So, what are we doing today? So, as y'all can see, I'm getting ready to do the Denali front end swap. I'm gonna have to cut these bumper brackets that I welded before when I did the uh, HD grill or whatever conversion you want to do with the HD swap but a lot of y'all were saying that you know that nothing had changed that it was the same shit so I took that really personal so what I chose to do now is I do a Denali swap so we'll take a good look at it right now because it's about to change I actually had to go pick up the bumper from a painter so I'll probably leave the brackets uh, for the end but these are the ones I already set it up to cut it there's another one over here so this is the bracket that I'm gonna go with they are a little bit different so I know if y'all follow me on Instagram you are gonna see that a lot of people were saying that I didn't need to weld the bracket but I didn't have to move it the reason why people were saying that is because they think that I had these brackets and what they do is they will do a hole right here and that equals to this right here see so but nah, so since I had a different bracket I had to go this way but it's no no problem all you have to do is just drop it all the way to the to the frame because this was a little bit higher but i did put a couple pennies just because i wanted a perfect um setup i didn't want my my bumper to be saggy and that's exactly the same thing i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna measure the distance from here to the top of or the bottom of this bracket up here figure out and then i'm probably gonna go with a quarter inch higher just so that bumper sits a little bit more flush with the grill but uh, i'll be i'll be honest with y'all i haven't done one of these so uh i'm gonna have to play with it but once i know exactly what i have to do then i'll let y'all know Alright guys, so I spent the whole 4th of July trying to figure out how to get this bracket to make the bumper sit flush with the side fender right there. I wanted it to sit as flush as possible, but then again, I don't think that's going to be possible because the grill is a little bit lower and it doesn't let the bumper go in. So I decided to take the grill, then put the bumper, then uh, put the grill back on, but it just wouldn't happen. The lights, the bumper was like right here, the edge of it where it's supposed to be down here. So I figure I probably need like somewhere between uh, half an inch to, I don't know, um, a little bit more than half an inch but then i thought let me measure this up and between you know just looking at this uh, i came up with an idea i still have to test it but uh i think this is gonna work so basically what i did is i grabbed this blade from the fossil and i made a a hole on it and basically what i'm gonna do is this is just so I can have a square um, fitment, I guess, to help me um, get this to be straight as possible. So basically, I made the hole because I'm gonna bolt this. This kind of this is gonna work like a washer kind of, 
but I'm going to attack this, break the welds, and then I'm going to push it down basically to where it sits on this, um, it's like a, a frame support or something like that, I forgot what it's called, but basically this is going to sit like this, right, and that's going to give me uh, 7 8 which is 14 16 is more than more than half an inch but um i think it's gonna work i saw i forgot to show you one last time what this uh truck looks like the uh color match came a little bit you know not perfect but you can't really see it i mean you can obviously see it on the camera but in person you can hardly see it you can't tell but i did want to show y'all here real quick this right here this little gap it's not even like a whole finger is like the tip of my finger and this is as good as you're going to be able to get it um as you can see this one's flush so if i was to push this even higher it will not let you put that uh grill in there but i just wanted to show y'all one last time let me know what y'all think and uh i will be taking care of the rest of the truck sooner than later but that's it guys thank you for watching it's going down baby been a long time but i'm back man